When hearing the word safari, one usually associates it with Africa, lions, elephants, and other big wildlife. If one thinks about Norway and safari, then maybe whale washing comes to mind. But in Sand, along the river Suldalslogen, you will find a special kind of safari, the Lak Safari, where one looks for salmons. And it is the only place in the world where that can be done. Lux means salmon in Norwegian. The owner of the farm, Mo Laksegård Björn Mo, had a tourist business for a very long time. But he is not the boss here, as he precises it. The general manager is a young girl who is 27 years old. She is my boss. I was born and grew up here, 50 meters from the river. It's a natural part of me. I have worked with tourists here at the farm since 1982. We have constantly developed and expanded the business so that we can welcome up to 50 people. How came the idea to send tourists down the river in a wetsuit to look for salmons? That's a special story. I was helping some scientists who were studying the river. They were floating down the river with suits, diving masks and snorkels. I could join them once and it was so fascinating. So I thought that everybody should experience it. But how does the safari work? First, the participants get instructions on how to gear up, where they will swim, and all the dangers of the river. Afterwards, people get a suit, a mask, and a snorkel. To make sure that everything fits, a refreshing bath in the pool is the next step on the list. Afterwards, the group walk to the river. After entering the river, one can experience the force of it. It is very difficult to stand. It is to remark that there was quite a lot of water on the day of filming. When everybody is ready, you just let yourself fall, and the current will do its work. And it goes really fast. Especially where it's shallow, you will get the feeling for speed. Now it's time to look out for the fish. It is not as simple, since you need to keep track of the other people and the guide. Bjorn follows the group in a kayak. Our cameraman kept looking for fish. The water was quite clear for a river, but no salmon was around. Also in the deep places, no luck. Just before the ride was finished, luck struck and a small salmon was seen. Unfortunately, our cameraman didn't pay attention and arrived on the wrong side of the river at the exit point. Luckily, the guide could fish him out on time. It is so easy to underestimate the power of the river. Quite a few TV stations have been here before us. Yeah, they have been so popular. The safari became very popular. 34 different TV companies visited us and made documentaries about the Salmon Safari, which were broadcast on their channels. We had a lot of celebrities here, big stars from China and Asia. They filmed a complete episode of a reality show about the Salmon Safari. A lot of people come here to catch salmons. Currently it's salmon season and it's legal to fish. So there are a lot of sport fishermen in the river. So we rent out different places along the river. We have a place for 22 fishermen each day. 
All places along the river have limited amounts of license sales, so when you bought a fishing claim, you will be sure to have good conditions. You won't march on each other's feet. What about catching salmon during the safari? Can we do that? I always tell my safari guests, you are welcome to catch as many salmon as you want. But no one has ever catched one. Catching a fish in the water is very difficult. It is slippery and slimy and very much alive. So, nearly impossible. And how big was the largest catch here? Den är 34 kilo. It was 34 kilos. That was over 100 years ago in 1913. With 34 kilos, it was one of the biggest Atlantic salmon which was ever caught in Norway. Today the average weigh 6.5 kilos, if you take into account all salmon which get caught. If you want to do the lax safari, you find it at Molaxegård in Sand. Sand is located in the upper Ryfylke. When coming from Oslo or Bergen, use road 13 from Røldal direction Stavanger. It is just before the village of Sand. There is a big sign where you have to turn. The safari can be done from June to September. Molaxegård also proposes diverse kinds of accommodations. Check their website for more information.